Hey everyone, Steve from Backcountry Gallery here. In this video, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite Lightroom tools, the Painter Tool. The Painter Tool has to be one of the least understood and yet most powerful tools at our disposal. The idea behind it is simple. You can use it to quickly paint things onto your images in grid view. Things like flags, labels, star ratings, and more. You can also use it to add images to collections, add keywords, and even apply develop and metadata presets. And here's the best part. It's all incredibly fast. By the way, the Painter tool only works in grid view, and that does cause some confusion sometimes. If you don't know how to get to grid view, you can just press the letter G, and that'll take you there no matter where you are in Lightroom. Now, before we jump in, though, I do want to mention that this video is an excerpt from my new 35 video Lightroom course I just released over the weekend for the library module. The course is over 10 hours long, and this is only like about 1% of the information it has. So let's jump in. So the painter tool is found down here on the toolbar. It looks like a little spray can right here. A lot of times I will call it the spray can, but it is the painter tool that's right here. And if you don't happen to see the toolbar, remember just to press the letter T and the toolbar will appear. And if you don't see the spray can, make sure you go over to the little down arrow here, give that a click and make sure that the painter option here is checked and selected. And if it's not, just give it a click and it will be. And then the painter can will show up. Just give that a click. And if you'll notice, we have a few options that come up over here on the side that says paint. Right now it's set to target collection. And we have rotation, settings, metadata, flag, all this stuff right here. And basically what this does is it allows us to select what effect or what option or what attribute we're going to apply to the images when we spray paint them with the painter can. So let me show you how that works. I think it's easier to show you than it is to tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and select flag. So to demonstrate, I'm going to go up to this picture of Gizmo, and I'm just going to give this a little click. And if you'll notice, a flag has appeared up at the top right here to indicate that we have sprayed a flag onto this image. And we also have a little white border now right around the image area that wasn't there before. And in and of itself, that doesn't seem too impressive because you can put your mouse up there and do the same thing, right? However, the real power of the painter tool is that you can do a whole bunch of images very quickly by just dragging it across and spraying the images. So let's say I wanted to spray all these images as flagged. All I have to do is hold my left mouse button down and drag drag across them. And if you notice, they're all getting a flag applied to them when I do that. So that's pretty fast to flag all those images just instantly like that. That's how the painter tool works. And by the way, on a lot of these different settings, you can actually hold down the option or alt key and it'll turn the painter can into an eraser. You see how it's an eraser now? And if I drag that across these images, it will take the flag away. And then of course I can put it back by spraying it back on. However, flags are just the beginning here. So what else can we do? Let's take a look at keywords because I think that's a super handy one. So let me give an example. So for this example, let's say I wanted to keyword all the images I have here with Gizmo and I wanted to do it very rapidly. Well, I could go individually and keyword them that way or try to select them all, but the spray can is like way, way faster. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to go down to where it says flag right now and I'm going to go up to keywords and I've pre-filled this in to save us a little bit of time, but we have cats, home, and gizmo as our keywords and you can enter any keywords or remove any keywords that you want from here and just, again, just the keyword, comma, space, and then the next keyword. That's the format. So right now I think that's all we need. So I'm going to grab the painter tool and I'm just going to spray gizmo. So that one, these two, these two, this one, and this one. There we go. That's it. They all now have those keywords that I had asked right there. And to prove that to you, let me put that down and let's just click this one. You can see we have that there. We have it there. We have it there where they had no keywords before. So this is a very, very rapid way of keywording your images. So a lot of times, maybe I'm looking through a set of images from Africa or Costa Rica or United States, doesn't matter. And I have a mix of species in there, but sometimes you encounter the same species twice. So maybe I have, you know, some bison in there from Yellowstone and I shot them on day one and day five and day seven. I could just scroll quickly through my images, find all of those bison photos, and just spray them real quick with the proper keywords, and it saves so much time. It's so quick. It's so easy to use. However, there are a couple more I want to show you with a little painter tool here, because keywords are nice, but another really handy one is the target collection option. So if you have images you're trying to put into a collection, and right now it is set to quick collection, but if I was maybe trying to send something to a collection over here, so for example, let's make a new collection for house cats. There we go. And we have our house cats collection here. I'm going to set that as the target collection. And right now, of course, there's nothing in it. So let's go back to photos. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this up so you can watch the little count go up here. And I'm going to go down to the paint can, make sure it's selected. It's in the target collection. If you notice, the target collection is set for house cats. And I'm just going to spray these. And as I'm doing it, look at the number going up over here for house cats. It's going up because I'm spraying all of these cats into the target collection. So I just instantly, just about instantly, put 17 photos into my house cats collection because it was the target collection and I did it with a spray can. So you can see just how powerful this can be. And there's a lot of options here under the spray can. You have the target collection, you have rotation. So if I had a bunch of images, for instance, that needed rotated, I could actually say, hey, you know what? Let's rotate everything clockwise or counterclockwise or flip them horizontal or vertical. I could do all of that right here with the spray can. Just spray right over and paint right over them. We also have settings. So if I wanted to use maybe black and white punch, for instance, I wanted to spray all of these black and white, I could do so. However, this is one of the ones where you can't take it back. So if I spray these guys like this, and I hold my Alt or Option key down, you notice I don't get the eraser anymore. However, do keep in mind you could still hit Command or Control Z to undo it. Anyhow, there's a lot of options here. We have metadata options here too. We can use any of those metadata presets, so if we want to add that. Obviously, the rating and label work the same way as flag. Just pick whatever five-star rating or whatever, or whatever color rating that you want here for your label, and then you can spray those right onto the images. And then, of course, we have keywords. So there's a ton of things you can do with this little painter tool, and it's a super, super simple option, and it makes your workflow go so much faster. So I definitely encourage you to give this a try. I think you're really going to like it. So there you go. I'm not exaggerating when I say this thing has saved me a ton of time over the years. Now, if you enjoyed that lesson, make sure you check out my Lightroom course, number one, the library module, file handling, and importing. This was just a small fraction of what you'll discover in that series, and it's yours for less than a dinner date. Check it out at my site. I think you'll really like it. As always, remember to head to my site and sign up for my free email newsletter so you never miss a video, a blog post, a podcast, or a workshop opportunity. And of course, remember to like, subscribe, and get notifications too. And of course, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.